morning everyone. Oh, I've been up early, cleaned all the bathroom, did some laundry. Now I gotta get out here and water my plants before it gets real hot. I gotta fertilize them. Yeah, I'm just waiting for things to start blooming. But more is to come. Yeah, it's all got to bloom. It all has buds, but it's not blooming yet. First thing we got to do is freshen up the hummingbird feeders. Yeah, they need freshening. Oh, look at our garden over here, you guys. This is, this is all butterfly weed. Isn't that nice? And that, he's got to get a couple of those weeds out over there. The other day I counted 24 frogs in our pond in our neighbor's pool. He got the kid next door because the whole pool was filled with frogs <laughs> and they, they'll die so he was out there scooping frogs. I don't see any frogs today. I guess you never know. Yeah he's got to weed this out a bit. See my hosta? That's why I didn't pick up those hostas that day. My hostas are huge around here. I decided to wait till tomorrow to fertilize my plants because it's too hot. I'm gonna refresh the bird baths and the feeders. And then we'll have some breakfast, you guys. See this hosta here? Huge! This hosta is huge. Yeah. Okay, let me get busy here. Okay. I got the feeders filled. You're gonna, it's gonna be loud because they're trimming trees over there. So I just wanted to say, if you could put a little water out for the birds in this heat wave. Even if it's a couple margarine containers, just put a little bit of bowl, a couple bowls of water out for them. Please, do it for Michelle. Yeah. Okay, so yesterday I made, I made a spruce salad for his lunch instead of a, a ham sandwich. Because, you know, the heat day. When you're in that heat, you don't feel like eating as much. So. I put the ham on the side. Can you guys see? Yeah, I put the ham on the side. And uh, give him a nice salad from our yard. Yes. From our yard. I have these containers here. So they're really handy. And uh, he can throw it away at work. He doesn't have to keep it. So I just put the salad and then I put, I put some, I'll show you. So there's the salad. Oh, that smells good. I'm hungry, you guys. <laughs> okay, then we have some crispy onions here. I put that in a separate bag. with cheese. I got some cheese here to put in the bag too. Oh, get it in the bag, Michelle. Okay. Okay. Like that put this cheese away. Okay, then I take some ham. I found this in the freezer, you guys. Amazing what you can find when you're uh, clearing out the freezer. I say about one. These are thin slices. Three, four, five. About five slices. And then I just cut them in pieces, put them in another bag. Then he has a nice salad for lunch. This 
is making me hungry. I want my breakfast. <laughs> I got one egg. Those heifers, man, didn't lay yesterday. Well, Ginger did. Ginger's the only one that laid yesterday. Darn them. Then I just roll it up and I put it in the salad like that. I, I have to make ranch dressing. I'm just hoping we have some ranch dressing here for him. Look at that. I'll put the dressing in there too, but let's see what we have here. We have all that ranch he bought yesterday. Or not yesterday, the day before. Uh, maybe I have one pack of ranch. Ranch, creamy dill. What's this? Fajita mix. Chili. Roasted garlic lovers. Oh, come on. Nope. I'm going to have to make the ranch he got. Oh, I only have one pack of chili. Okay. I'm going to make this. Let me read the instructions. Okay, before I make the ranch dressing, I'll finish this lunch. I'm going to have a piece of pie for sure. Yes. Um, this pie was so good. A little tart, but because Michelle put the sugar on top, it was beautiful. Beautiful pie. Yummy. That sugar just made it extra special. See that? Very good, very good dough too. Oh, the pie dough, so nice. Oh, it wasn't tough at all. Okay, so we have that salad and I uh, think cherries today. Okay, the cherries. Okay, now I gotta make this dressing. What do I oh, what do I need? Okay, let's see. Uh all you need is two cups. Oh, I don't have any sour cream. Two cup oh to make dressing. Two dressing make two cups. One cup of, of mayo and one cup of milk. I can do that. Yeah. I would put sour cream in, but I don't have any, so it's just going to be mayo and milk. That'll work. Oh, I hope those tree trimmers are done by the time I sit down and read my book. I don't want that loud in this. <laughs> Loud noise. I'm gonna get Betty out and beat her up. Beat this up with my Betty. My Betty will work for me. I do not like this ranch as much as Hidden Valley. Here we go. Work it, Betty, work it. What would I do without you, Betty Boo? Betty Cracker? Now, if I had sour cream, I would use sour cream and just add a touch of milk because the sour cream makes it a little 
bit better and thicker. I find with the melt, it just makes it water it down. Okay, let's give this a taste. Nah, it's okay. It's not like Billy, Hidden Billy Ranch, though. So. No. I'm going to give him two of these because these are pretty small. I think two will be perfect for his salad. Okay. Now we can make some breakfast. All we have to do after breakfast is fold our laundry. We'll be done for the day. Oh, we got to make the bed when Bruce gets up. There. Fits right into the salad. Right there. <laughs> I'm going to go bring the girls watermelon and hopefully find some eggs for our breakfast. I don't know if they'll hear me. Girls! 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 Ah, they can't hear me. Oh, they were all here. <laughs> In the yard. That's too noisy for you girls, eh? You scared? Yeah. I'll break some more. Okay, so Ginger has water, food, and watermelon. Yeah, she just tenses up if the ducks are out. She just, I hold her and she tenses right up like she wants to attack. So, and Jethro and Ellie me, they, they don't know any better. <laughs> yeah, so, see if we got some eggs, Jethro? Let's see, don't you follow me. Whew. I'll leave the door open. It's nice and cool. Oh, we got three. One, two, three. Fried egg sandwich, you guys. Okay, Tetro, let me down. Let me down, big boy. Well, they found a nice, cool spot to be under the railing there. Yeah. Oh, Jan, your mealworms should be here any day. I'm out of mealworms and she's complaining. Yeah, any day, Jan. As soon as I get them, I make sure I'll give you some. Everybody have a good day. See, the fish flies have settled down finally. It takes a couple weeks. Hey, hey. Good morning. What up, Blondie? Oh, it's a hot one out there today. It's because you're out there. <laughs> How was your day back to work? Your oh, first day? it was all right. All right. Yeah, everybody. Your second family? Yeah, my second family. I said, well, I'm glad to see you. <laughs> but, yeah. 
How was your salad? Did you enjoy that? It was delicious. Okay, I made you another one. I already got your lunch made. It's only 10.30. Well, if I would have known that, I would have ate that chicken last night. I, to I, I left it there for you. Don't eat the other piece. That's for tonight. No, you can have it for lunch today. There's only one and a half pieces in there. You can have it for no, lunch. No, the half was ate last night. And oh. I left the other piece because I thought it was for my lunch today. No, no, no. No, 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 she says. So, so do you get all those booked days off that you missed when you were laid off? You get them all back? Yeah, I got, I don't, I don't know what days is. You got to go through your paperwork. You got to start There's booking. Only two, I think. You sure? Yeah, I think it was for his birthday. Well, I said that was, yeah, too. And I don't know. We'll have to look. I didn't, I know you didn't put any in for July. I can't believe I didn't do that. Yeah, me neither. I'm going to fry a, a little ham to go on our, to go on our uh, egg sandwiches this morning. I can't believe how thin this ham is. Papa Bear likes thicker ham than that. Yeah. Somebody always lays this long egg. <laughs> I don't know who, but one of them does. Okay, look at those babies. No, I don't want that juice. I don't like it. It gives me heartburn. I never get heartburn. Ever. And I think we, we got the wrong juice at Costco. I told you that. I know, I'm telling our friends. I told you that. Yeah, what did we get? Let me show them. I don't like it. Oh, it's cherry. Oh, cranberry. Blend. Blend. White grape pear juice. I think it's the pear juice. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't agree with me. Okay, you want ketchup on yours? No way. <laughs> I do. Well, that's what you like. Give me the ketchup, please. Okay, we got some uh, egg sandwiches and some watermelon. That's really good watermelon today, you guys. Yes, very tasty. Okay. Hey! <laughs> We fold this, we got the rest of the day free. Yeah, you get all the balls, Sandy. You're being a good girl for your photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. You know how many balls you got there? Two balls. You got the balls. Got the balls. Woo! <laughs> She's a happy girl. Okay, guys. Does that look like amazing or what? Right from our yard? Our salad? Everything's from our yard except, well, the dressing's not and the teas, but come on now. Is it amazing or not? <laughs> uh, Bruce is an amazing grower. Yes, he is. I just sat down, but I don't think you can see it out the window. The sky is dark over by Detroit. They must be getting the storm. I don't know if it's headed this way or not. But, uh, they've been saying storms all week and haven't gotten one of them. Yeah. It's time for me to read. Google's going to have a nap. You want to come over here and have a nap? Okay. And I'm going to read. Oh, it's a big yawn. Oh, I got everybody safely in the chicken yard. You see how dark it's getting in here? Oh, those buggers. There's always one in the crowd. One won't go in. Oh, geez, I had to pretend that the oyster shells were mealworms, then they all came. <laughs> There's tricks to everything. It's ways to trick them, you guys. Okay, let's wait for the storm. This is where I miss my mom. Always calling me and say, okay, the storm's here. It's going to be heading to your place at this. She always did that, always. I love that. I miss that so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll bring you back if it gets storming real good. These three are all ready for the storm. Coco, Sandy, and Zen's up there. They're all ready. We're all sticking together. 
Okay, guys, dinner's shrimp, and I got a big tray here because I'm going to cook uh, Nate's chicken and french fries on here, too. Let me get this all laid out for you. Okay! Is there a cocoa in the house? Cocoa in the house? Okay, come on. Did you order a shrimp basket? 50 shrimp? Two beers? Okay. There's your. Okay, I had it too high. Sandra, you ordered a shrimp basket and a Shirley Temple. Yeah, there you go. Enjoy your trip. <laughs> Coco, slow down. Slow down on those beers. That's quite a bit of beers there, you know. Yeah, at least Sandy ordered a Shirley Temple. Okay. Okay, so Bruce got his first harvest of beans, which isn't much, but that's okay. There are more coming. It's the first one. And then he got more garlic scapes. I'm going to cook them together in the pan. So I'm just going to boil them and then fry them in a little butter after and it's gonna be delicious i know it so i'll show you what i'm doing here just let me get them cut the ends cut and cleaned and get them in the pan okay so what i'm gonna do is boil my my beans and my garlic escape ah uh, what do you call them scapes for a little bit and then I'll drain them and I will um, cook them up in the pan. Yeah, just like that. That's going to be good, eh, you guys? Okay, so then I drain the water. I'm going to put some butter and some garlic and salt and pepper in, on them and fry them up. I have some bacon grease here. Let's put a little bit of that on. I would put bacon too, but I don't have any cooked, so this is good enough. And salt and pepper. Woo. Fry them up for a few minutes. Well, dinner will be ready. Garlic. The forks is there. I know. It's the forks. I gotta wash some. I only got two. I gotta get some. Mom, these I mean. You yeah. got real? How many of these I know. you got? I only got two. <laughs> they disappeared somehow. Okay, so just frying up. We'll see you when it's time to eat. Oh, I'll put Parmesan on too at the last minute and take it off the burner. Sprinkle some Parmesan. Yeah, Parmesan. I'll wait till it's done. Okay, you guys. Don't judge me, but I can't find a fork. <laughs> I mean, Nathan has one, and I put one in Bruce's lunch, and I can't find any more. I have to go on Amazon and look at their forks on Amazon. So we have shrimp, two different shrimp fries, and then beans and garlic scapes from our garden. I don't know if this will do any good, but <laughs> let's give this a try. I don't know, my back is really hurting me today pulling on me so here's the shrimp mm-hmm I love shrimp Let's try our beans from Bruce's Garden. 
Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to try a skate. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's so much better boiled for a bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, now I want more. I snapped them like you do. Um, uh, what do you call that? Asparagus. If you snap asparagus, it'll crack where the woody part is. I did that with the scapes, and that was worth it. Mm. So much better. These shrimps, I'm not too. I don't know. They don't. They look fake. We'll give them a try, though. Yeah, they're good. just has the tail off the tail off of them yeah I don't know these ones are my favorite well that wasn't much of a storm now was it <laughs> No. It was enough rain, though, to water the garden so I don't have to go out there and water it because Bruce is at work. I thought everybody was back to work. He said no. If only he got called back. So they got three janitors now. Anyways, he wants, he'd rather be home. This, I finished my book. So people wanted to know what this was called. It's called Family Pictures. I thought, I, I said I might have got this at the thrift store. I think I got it at Walmart. Yeah, it's a good read. It was, yeah, good. No, no violence or anything like that. Which is good. Some people like that. But, uh, uh-huh. And again, like, what's her name again? Maggie. She was the snot one, the snotty one, rich one. And Sylvia was, you know, pretty much nice, not rich. And uh, in the end, Maggie had to get her life together. She had nothing. The same with Sylvia. They had nothing. Sylvia got a really good uh, candle company going. That she uh, has her own business now. Believe it or not, Maggie went to work at a diner, a restaurant, and she rented she rented the guest house of an older couple, and they kind of took her in under under her wings, and she's become, like, you know, not snotty, and, you know, learning to love the simple things in life. Their two daughters have a little, little, little complications and stuff but in the end it works out they're okay and at the end well S Sylvie's daughter was really bad like sick and stuff I won't tell you what happened but she ran away from home and she ran to Grace's which is Maggie's daughter So she went end up being really sick and they were far apart but uh um maggie t 
talked, uh, you know, said she knew that she was sick at Grace's place. So she's like, even though she, at one point she hated Sylvia, she said we would do anything for our daughters, I think. So she got her rushed to the hospital and saved her. And, uh, in the end, they became best friends. They're best friends. Mm-hmm. The wives, Maggie and Sylvia, Sylvie, are best friends. And their husband is in jail. So, Maggie wrote a letter to him saying, Thank you. I love my life like this. So much better than the life I had. And Sylvia, or Sylvie, well, he wrote back to Maggie and said, you know, after I get out of jail, maybe we can get back together. But he did the same thing to Sylvie. He wrote the same letter, exact same letter. What a... Oh, they're both like... Oh, never. Uh-uh. In the end, it turned out good. I'd give it a read. If you want. Poor Coco, he keeps looking for Daddy. No. He doesn't understand. Not daddy's at work. Okay, I'm gonna get off of here. Oh, one more excal. Oh. Mm. I hope your gardens are doing well. Everything's starting to come now. Mm-hmm. The only thing good about summer is the things we grow in our yard. This heat today is terrible. Not my kind of heat. I'll stay home and inside and read my book. Yeah. Oh, my new book I'm reading. I haven't started yet, but I've been waiting to read this. You guys know that. Mm -hmm. This is going to be good. A couple of you read it and told me, oh yeah, it's good. And I got a puzzle under here, under my, that I got going for summer, and just summer things. When the heat gets bad like this, I stay in. Okay, good night everyone. We'll see you guys in the next video. I might, I might vlog tomorrow. I, I think, I think I might. We'll see. I have some cooking that I have to get done.